Next on Batch Chat, the film festival program is out and the best cinema in the country is saved by Peter Jackson. The thought that we'd lose the embassy and it would be turned into a parking lot or something was um, just something I couldn't bear to think about. It's the atmosphere of the cinema that I really love as well as seeing the movie. Now, for many uh, of those films that Bill mentioned, well, many of them will play in New Zealand's finest cinema, the Embassy in Wellington. Now, Bill Goldston here is, is part of a trust that saved the Embassy from demolition and is trying to restore it to its former magnificence. One of the first and most important steps was to buy a brand new 70mm projector. Films are hardly ever shot on 70mm these days, it's just, well, monstrously expensive. So the first 70mm to be screened at the Embassy was a brand new 30th anniversary print of Stanley Kubrick's unforgettable and completely incomprehensible masterpiece, 2001, A Space Odyssey. that we'd lose the embassy and it would be turned into a parking lot or something was um, just something I couldn't bear to think about. The embassy has one of the largest screens in the southern hemisphere, certainly the biggest in New Zealand and I suspect the biggest, uh, biggest in Australia as well. It used to screen 70 mil films 15 years ago, Lawrence of Arabia was on there, I, I remember seeing that and being totally blown away, but the old projector got into a state of disrepair and the 70 mil capacity kind of wasn't maintained and so when, we, when the trust took over the cinema, one of our first things that we did was to actually buy a new, new, new projection system and it was a 70mm capable system. This is a 35mm piece of film which is 35mm wide and 70mm literally means that it's double the width but that also gives you double the height per frame so you actually get four times the amount of picture area which basically means the film is four times as sharp and four times as crisp. So it's as far away from a video image as what you can possibly be imagining. In the old days they used to have two projectionists to run 70 just because of the worry of how easy it is to tear um, and the heaviness of it. Uh, but those days are gone. When 2001 was made available in 70mm, it was natural that here we had a new projector, we had a fabulous new sound system, therefore we had to add that final ingredient. <laughs> it's a great film made by a legend of the filmmaker in Sandy Kubrick. And on that canvas where in 70mm, it's, it's outside your peripheral vision. You have to move your head to take the full picture in. Uh, well, 2001 is an interesting film, and I, and I have to admit I still don't quite know what it's about. But I guess that's the whole point of the movie, really. You are supposed to think about it, and um, I've thought about it and haven't come up with the answer yet. But, my, I, I mean, the, the bit in 2001 that I actually like and, ad, and admire the most is the opening sequence that has the um, pre-human apes, um, which are supposed to be in the African plains. And I really admire that because Kubrick, who doesn't like to fly, didn't go to Africa to shoot those scenes. He sent somebody who took a, a photograph of uh, African landscape and then he shot the apes in an English studio in front of a huge big screen. So, uh, and it just looks flawless. Even in 70 mil, you just can't tell that they're faked, those shots. I'd love to shoot a film on 70 mil one day, but um, it's a budgetary consideration. There's only like, a, like six or eight cameras in the world that can actually shoot on 70 mil and the, expense of doing it is quite a lot because you're obviously um the whole thing is technically a little bit more difficult than shooting on 35 but it would be certainly be something i'd love to do one day i'd love to see it at the embassy it's the atmosphere of the cinema that i really love as well as seeing the movie and it's the the, the curved staircase and the bits of marble work and the ornate plaster work and the feeling that you're going somewhere special um to see a movie it's it, it just creates the, the right atmosphere and um Multiplexes I find to be quite bland and they're a bit like a, you know, you like, feel like cattle being shoved through a, you know, a shoebox. One of the great things about running the theatre is that it, it's, it's your choice of what movies are played to a greater or lesser degree. And, and the great joy is when you've, you've got a full house in there, they're all sharing uh, the same joke, uh, enjoying the movie that you've chosen. It's, it's, it's rewarding. that people often ask is will cinema die uh, 
with the advent of television, with video. I think the best analogy is that every home has a kitchen, but there's lots of restaurants out there. People need to go out and be entertained. I think cinema's got a great future. And Kerry Robbins at the Embassy is hoping to get the Titanic in 70mm and Kenneth Branagh's Hamlet.